Barefoot Racing Adventures. Today we're at Volunteer Speedway, Bulls Gap, Tennessee. Dirt Late Model Series, $5,000 to win. We've got guys like Chris Smokey Madden. We're here to watch Kyle Strickler and Scott Bloomquist. We've got cameras on those two guys. Ride with me, folks. Good morning, Kyle Strickler, brother. How you doing today? Good, good. It's a little early. We've got our coffee. We're here and ready to go. Excellent. The new rocket, actually, at PCC Motorsports, so this is our second night out on it. Really excited to come to Bulls Gap here. The style and shape of this race track really fits what I like doing in a race car. Man, it's got a lot of banking. Looks fast. Yeah, absolutely. With the rain and weather being so cold, it's going to be pretty hammered down, especially early. So last time I, I saw you was uh, over at Cherokee. We ended up third there. Kind of played the tire game. The car was not very good in the beginning. And Night. Myself and the guys did a really good job of working on it all night long and, and being there at the end and playing the strategy. The tire game is, is so important. Got a flat tire at the right time, came in and that kind of put us ahead of a lot of other guys. Ended up with a third there, so. Great start with a new car. Yes, first time in a Rockets and first time out with PCC Motorsports. I was really happy with that. And tweaking and tuning on her and talking with Mark Richards and the guys at Rocket and see what we need to do to get this car to fit the feel that I'm looking for is a lot different than the Longhorn than what I was used to, so. You ran a NASCAR truck at Eldora last year. Yep. I just wondered what kind of experience that was. It's iconic and it's one of the biggest nights of the year. Drivers that maybe some of the fans who watch us on a regular basis aren't as familiar with. Here's one of the guys right here, Kyle Strickler. Kyle was dirt modified once, probably in the 100, two times national short track champion. He's transitioning now in the late models on the dirt. But he's got an opportunity to race here with David Gill in his 54 truck. And his crew chief, oh, by the way, has five track championships here at Eldora, and that's Frankie Kerr. I just wondered what kind of experience that was, man. It was a lot of fun. It's something that I always wanted to do, even at the end of my career. If I don't ever do anything else in NASCAR world, at least I can say that I've run a couple truck races. We had a very good truck with David Gill and his team, who I actually worked for when I first moved to North Carolina. They drive more like a street stock than anything, just so big and heavy. But I had a blast doing that, and hopefully we can have some more opportunities to do stuff like that. Man, you are a racer. Man. It doesn't matter <laughs> what it is, you'll get in it and drive the wheels off it, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's this is what I love to do. I worked my whole life to get here, and you here know, racing, you yeah, racing gets in your blood, and that's what I wake up and do every day. Well, I'll tell you, I'm looking forward to riding along with you today. Good morning, man. I'm here with Speedway Car Cam. What's up, guys? What's happening? Hey, how many cameras did you bring with you today, brother? Uh, roughly 50. 50 cameras? Yeah, I'll he's get you making, hooked up. He's making it happen. Love your work, brother. I appreciate it. Keep it up. All right, brother, good luck. Have fun. Wow, wow. what a cool track this is. Super high bank. It's a natural coliseum look to it. So you, you've seen the video. I just started this week, actually. Hey, I, man, I appreciate you watching. Cool. I love them. I just love seeing super late models. And also, I got to give a shout out to Hunt the Front. They're awesome. Hunt the Front. Nice. Good group of people. Absolutely. Hey, it's Hunt the Front. I'm a big fan, too, brother. Absolutely. Yes, sir.
race right there. Yeah, it was pretty good. Just got the jump and then... On to the feature, brother. Yep. Go get them.
don't think they're gonna have to contend with you next year. <laughs> they got something coming. Yeah, we just gotta work on our balance a little bit, but uh, overall, oh, top three is another top bad. three. So yeah, just keep on uh, being consistent and being there at the end, and they'll come. Keep on working on them. Great work. Yep. Great work. Appreciate All right, that. keep it up. Yep.